Retired three-time Formula One world champion Nelson Piquet has recently come under fire for comments made about Hamilton during an interview on Brazilian TV a year ago where he was speaking in Portuguese. Piquet has been criticised for this almost universally. Piquet has now responded to this while speaking in the Drivers' Club at Le Mans as quoted by Motorsport magazine. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Nelson Piquet responds to being called a racist. Piquet started off by responding to being called a racist. This is all bullshit. I am not racist. There is nothing, nothing I said wrong. He explained why. What I said is a very soft word. We even use it for some of our white friends. He further stated that even though he has received backlash for using that word, he doesn't care. I used this word almost one year ago in the interview and they came up with this now. It has caused me some problems, but to be honest with you, I don't really care. He signed off by responding to whether he was at the event to make an apology. Here, I have no obligations to do anything, any publicity, nothing. Just a bit of racing, and I've really been enjoying it. Fast feed. Aston Martin's Sebastian Vettel was very happy for Mick Schumacher. I saw what happened, and I saw that he was closing the gap to Max. I was actually screaming inside the car, like, Go Mick, go Mick, go get him. Mick, meanwhile, feels that the last lap battle with Max is definitely something to have a look at. I think he pushed me off twice there. Overall, we are really happy. Coming back from P19, I said we had the speed to go forwards and definitely showed that today. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff thinks that without the safety car, Lewis Hamilton would have probably won the race in Silverstone. At the end, it was just Perez who was there and Sainz just went. It's okay. The most encouraging thing, like I said before, is that we had a car that was able to race. Alfa Romeo's Valtteri Bottas agreed that teammate Joe Guan Yu's crash was a big one. The main thing is that he is fine. After that, with the restart, there were lots of opportunities today, but unfortunately we had some issues with the gearbox. Reliability is for sure the main priority for us at the moment. We seem to have quite a few issues, so we really need to solve it. F1's managing director Ross Braun pointed out that the frequency where cars are following for consecutive laps and challenging for consecutive laps is much better this year than in previous years. What it demonstrates is the direction F1 and the FIA have gone in is absolutely the right direction to follow. Should Max Verstappen have received a penalty for his moves made during his battle with Mick Schumacher at Silverstone? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.